Hi guys, welcome back to another unboxing. For those of you who have watched my um, railway related Christmas presents will have known that I had this on order but I didn't have it at the time. Um, but obviously now it's here and I thought I'd unbox it and show it to you. It is, as you can probably tell, um, I'll show you the product code. It's the first Great Western um, class 153. Um, well, number 153329 it's obviously like a Hornby locomotive product code R3352 and it's um, essentially the Hornby sort of single carriage train um, that is sort of seen sort of not too frequently but um, sort of quite regularly I guess in some areas sort of quite particular areas um, and I personally sort of see these quite often when I'm down in Devon um, and for that reason I sort of wanted to purchase one um, so so yeah to sort of just have a quick look at the box it's a new sort of ish style Hornby packaging with a sort of schematic drawing here some sort of background information um, about sort of how that when they started back in 1990 because um, they needed to replace, um, well, need to replace this class 120, <clears throat> sorry, 121 and 122. Um, sort of just further information, I guess you can sort of, if I put it there, you can pause it and read through it all if you're really um, super sort of interested in all the facts. But it's obviously a diesel locomotive, max speed of 75. And as it says down here, five units are currently sort of in operation um, with first great western which um, i actually thought it'd be um be a bit more than that but there we go um so let's just get started so it's obviously the new star hornby packaging where you just remove the top sleeve with the graphic on and we have the dmu underneath um in this sort of new plastic um start packaging that we can just simply pull out oh, we've got the instructions in the back um, which I think are going to be sort of very similar to any other um, sort of engine boiling points obviously on the um, the wheels and actually this is actually quite uh, helpful because I don't actually have a sort of DMU this is my first one so to see this bit here about how to um, remove the locomotive sort of like body shell I guess um, is actually quite handy and the DCC sort of decoder and the motor I guess are in this end here as you can see here the windows go all the way up um, to the door and the front sort of cab window whereas here there's a bit of a sort of um, I guess blacked out sort of well not blacked out but um, space where there aren't any windows and you can't see in so I assume that's where everything is um, but yeah let's let's get the the actual DMU unboxed okay the sleeve came off a lot quicker and easier than some it does come with some of these couplings here which I um, assume it will just have little NEM sort of pockets um, but I don't think I'll probably put those on um, just because I don't really think I'm going to be connecting it to anything just because I quite like the sort of single carriage train sort of look so there we go if I just move this out of the way for you um, here we go so the finish on it is really nice it's obviously the first Great Western livery which I presume most people will have seen um, with the sort of uh, so I don't know what it's sort of a purpley blue and then an actual sort of light purple I don't know how best to hold this this is actually a lot longer than I thought okay so I've removed the camera from the tripod just because it was a bit easier obviously this is the front um, we've got the Exmouth um, sort of destination down there we have got the sort of the lighting which I presume lights up on the track the little cab windows we've got lots of detail down towards the bottom down here we've obviously got that little um, sort of plate there with lots of information 
we've got this door, um, the new couplings and um, I don't know what you'd call that, the sort of plow bit at the front. Um, but yeah, the detail on it is actually really nice. Um, all this sort of, you've got all the, the relevant sort of stickers and warning signs, um, all the, the detail underneath and all the little riveting on there. You've got all the seating, obviously, inside in the correct sort of way. You've got the livery on the side, all the relevant machinery and stuff underneath and storage and fuel tanks. Um, the sort of other sort of numbers down here. We've got the doors, which I don't believe no, the doors don't open or anything, but it's not too surprising. And then we've got the other end down here with the other destination, Paington. Um, and the sort of, well, the engine sort of number there. More sort of information, little warning signs, directional lighting, couplings, uh, the plough on the front, and obviously the sort of... Um, door um, in case you want to I guess combine it with another um, another DMU so yeah at the moment I'm really liking the sort of look of it and uh, I think I'm gonna get it on the tracks now and see it running So yeah, everything's turned out okay. Um, I'm really pleased with it, really pleased with like the finish, how it runs, just the general sort of look of sort of about it. Um, and yeah, sort of hope you've liked it as much as I have. Um, and I should be sort of hopefully getting some more first grade Western stuff in the future. So stay tuned for that if you, if you like this. And yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you have, um, because there's a lot more sort of coming in the future.